so many big games already this season in the league and so far certainly the last three or four months Darren Maidstone have uh, have had their way in the majority of them well yeah and the thing is you've got to say that far from being a hurdle or something to be approached with trepidation and, and, and certainly looking at Hacker and shaking hands with everybody you've got to say that this is an opportunity and it's got to be treated as an opportunity the only way we're going to get anything out of it is to treat it as an opportunity takes the kick in front of the press position here long kick diagonal across the field headed on by Sam Corn but headed out by Oxford Long ball up into the air by Joel who tussles and loses out. Oxford come forward and it's an Oxford player stumbling and the, the referee gives a free kick uh, about 30 yards out. It, it, it's with Ashby. Ashby takes the kick and it's uh, into the town end. <laughs> and it comes in and that's Oh. oh, well, there's uh, all sorts of things happened there. It came off a couple of people, but it ended up in Dzinski's hands. So we've been trying to find out what other hat tricks uh, players have got hat tricks more than one in a season. I know Franny Collin managed to get two in two seasons for Maidstone in the last decade. So, in the Gallagher era, at least, it's um, Barham getting himself a good record there. And scored a hat trick for Tunbridge against us anyway. It's uh, Luke on the left, hits the ball in. And oh! Oh! What a goal! What a goal by Luke! Luke attacking his man onto the corner of the box, left foot onto right foot, and then he just hits it into the top corner and it's Maystone United 1, Oxford City 0. And if history is anything to go by, that will be the only goal of the game, but I suspect it won't be. Well, out of absolutely nowhere, Darren, that goal has flowed into the top corner. He's received a pass on the far touchline, cut inside his man, and from all of 20, 25 yards, he's just pinged one in the top corner with one of the great curlers you will see at the Gallagher Stadium. One of the great curling finishes you will see this weekend, let alone National League South. Instead, we await booties corner to come through the crowd of cameramen nice it's it's in! In! Joel! far post corner Oxford City lost Joel and uh, header nothing Dzinski could do about that and it's 2-0 to the Stones first time that any side or first time there's been two goals in any fixture between these two teams at the Gallagher Stadium uh, Maidstone United 2-0 in front what take that what can you say, Darren? Booty's delivery it just went all the way to where you wanted it to and Ello towered like a colossus over two or three Oxford defenders. And he's absolutely smashed that home. But uh, Oxford trying to put, the, you know, the, they, they're going to try and establish themselves. The ball's headed on by Benyon, but only as far as Ello. Ello out to Luke. Luke plays the ball towards Patterson. Patterson turns his man. Christy Patterson straight at the goalkeeper. Oh, Christy Patterson, lovely, silky turn there. Just that touch away from Canis Carroll there, Darren, got himself in front of the man. and uh, But uh, Merson comes out and takes, out to Booty, Booty towards Patterson, plays head forward, lovely little touch towards Sam Corn. Corn coming down on the right, near the corner of the box. Sam Corn needs help, gets it back to Rory Deacon. Rory Deacon inside towards Michael Phillips, Michael Phillips turns two players. Inside towards Patterson, one, two with Phillips, raked out towards Luque on the left scorer of that absolutely fantastic goal Luke with the ball on the right steps over it gets the cross in towards Christy oh, well it's headed out by an Oxford player uh, Christy Patterson um, Sam Corn gets it in, forward, in, in towards Phillips out to Deacon Deacon on the corner of the box over Steps over, gets a left-footed shot in, but easily blocked. Um, yeah, as I say, good work by Patterson. To, uh, Korn gets the ball in and... Oh, great save by Dzinski. We said Phillips with the prowess with a couple of headers earlier this season. And you're up on taking off his head about five minutes ago, Darren. But that one, Korn's ball. Phillips in yards of space at the six-yard box. And Dzinski has just got clawed that out. Anyway, Zellul gets across, and uh, Oxford have scored. 
Yeah, it's a mistake. Look, across, a little bit of a mistake, and it's the Iasifiano mix up at the back, so it's 2 1. Game on. Yeah, Ellul's decided to slide in. There's about three or four Maidstone players converging, and Echafalo has managed to side foot that one into the net, and it's game on here. It's those small margins. And it'll be Booty with the corner. It was, and um, yep, Deacon just in Carroll's eye line to make sure he had to head it out, and it comes. Across the edge of the six yard box, and Joe Ellul this time. This time, Matsuzaka gets in ahead of Ellul. Carroll up towards Isafiano, the scorer. Anyway, the ball is, uh, on forward towards Reagan Booty. Booty into the left wing for Patterson to chase. Patterson on the corner of the box. Patterson onto his right foot, gets himself a little bit of space, hits a shot. Sam Corn ran over it. Um, now and uh, the ball goes about a yard wide. Patterson, Patterson chests the ball down but can't keep control of it and uh, Reagan Booty half wins it but Ellul comes forward, he's uh, inside the Oxford half, gets it to Benham Williams and it's out in front of Luke uh, against the Zari but uh, inside to Reagan Booty and uh, Benham Williams peels off, gets the ball inside and that goes, oh well, Benham Williams got a cross in, Luke got a header and it just bounced over Christy Patterson just and I take a breath a slight stretch for everything, but Mace don't get it back. Awusu hits it against Brendan Williams. Brendan Williams hits it inside to Phillips. Phillips up towards Patterson. Patterson on the edge of the D. Loses out, but uh, only as far as Phillips. Phillips gets it, and Awusu gets the ball. Tries to control it. And, uh, Oxford a little bit slow. Loses out to Raven Booty. Booty inside to Corn towards Luke on the left. And Awusu tracking back. An attacking player, but uh, gets it towards Raven Booty. Booty hits it in towards the six-yard box. And save Corn! Ten yards out, hits the ball and, well, hits it over. I don't think he was expecting that shot. And, and it's good work from the option player there, Fleet, out to Ashby. Inside to Coyle. Coyle tries to rake the ball forward left and Binham Williams wins it. Binham Williams as far as Luke to Corn to Christy Patterson. Patterson. Patterson, he's got Deacon out to his right. Patterson on his left foot. Luke gets, tries a shot at the near post. Yeah, anyway, so the ball is headed on by Benyon, but only as far as Reagan Booty, and Booty gets the ball in, and that is a yellow card. Booty's off. Yeah. I oh, know. The red card, he, 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 he stretched. I thought Fowler had been booked earlier, but clearly it was Booty, so um, he's managed to give Booty two yellow cards and send him off, so the referee's not going in our favour again, Maidstone. I can definitely only remember one yellow card for Booty. I thought it was Fowler. He won the ball. There's certainly a noise. I think it still still can be categorised as game management. Uh, not quite game for ship, yes, yet, but uh, certainly um, what Oxford would be doing if uh, the support's half one by Beerish Guran. And uh, um, unfortunately, Oxford come forward and they've got a couple of men over, Gavin Hoyt, um, Kiprianu out on the left, and we've seen uh, he, he, how good he is at crossing, but he uh, gets the ball back and the cross comes in, headed up in the air by Fowler, only as far as uh, Fleet. Fleet half kicks it, the ball comes across the area, and it is cleared. Oh. Oh, Six minutes of stoppage time, Darren. Yeah, uh, as, as we said, and... Uh, so uh, we, we've had about 13 or 14 seconds as Christy Patterson comes forward. Dzinski is out of his goal. Christy Patterson is streaking forward. He's on his own. Christy Patterson, can he score? Oh, he hits against Dzinski's legs. Christy Patterson finds the keeper again. What a great chance that was. Well, great it would have been because he has worked ever so hard so throughout hard, the so game. Hard, and the Darren. goal would have capped it for him. Guran comes and forces um, the ultra player back. Patterson comes in and makes Dzinski play it as he uh, hits it forward. But anyway, Oxford come forward. Benya all come forward towards Yusuf Mersin on the far post, and that's uh, um, Mersin. Oh. Everyone, there's a little bit of argy bargy uh, as um, there's oh, another red, red card. card for somebody. Unfortunately, Bradbury, I think he's gone. Yeah, looks like uh, well, it's going to be ten aside. Yeah, and that's Bradford. 
Well, yeah, I think if, uh, if, if, if you're talking about uh, cricket discipline, uh, Harvey Bradbury is uh, talking to somebody. Because uh, a couple of uh, uh, there, there are a couple of fans saying some words, and if he gets upset by words, well, uh, then, then perhaps he should be a little bit worried. But anyway, and that's the end of the game. It has finished Maidstone United two, Oxford City one. Finished on in controversy. Uh, Mr. Mackey, uh, uh, well, I, 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 I don't think uh, he, he lost control. Um, he know, did, but yeah. Maidstone heads were kept in spite of everything that was thrown at them this afternoon by Oxford City and the officials, and Maidstone have come out on top, Dorking have won, Maidstone have won, so it's all eyes on Dorking next weekend.